This video was created at the end of preliminary design and incorporates public feedback. Some elements may be subject to change. Welcome aboard Valley Line West, a 14-kilometer low-floor urban LRT line running between downtown and Lewis Farms in West Edmonton. A continuation of the Valley Line Southeast, Valley Line West provides a direct link to major destinations and connects communities along the way. We begin our journey at the Alex Dakota stop, named after Edmonton's first Indigenous police officer. Separate from the current high floor LRT system, the Valley Line allows riders to board the train easily and accessibly at street level. LRT stops will be approximately curb height, in a scale similar to a longer bus stop, with pedestrian and transit user convenience in mind. As the Valley Line continues west, the LRT turns onto the center of 104th Avenue. We make a stop at 112th Street, next to McEwen University's newest facility, the McEwen University Center for Arts and Culture. Moving along 104th Avenue, we arrive at the Brewery 120th Street stop, which provides direct access to local Oliver area businesses, as well as the Edmonton Brewery District. As part of Valley Line's sustainable urban integration philosophy, the project applied a pedestrian's first approach that ensures safety and convenience to pedestrians and also helps to create a vibrant urban environment. The Valley Line's partial priority signaling system allows trains to stop at traffic lights or delay departure from LRT stops to ensure a balanced traffic flow of LRT, vehicles and pedestrians. Here we are at the Glenora stop. The Valley Line will run at neighborhood speeds, allowing the LRT to operate safely within pedestrian-oriented communities without the need for barriers such as crossing gates, bells, or flashing lights at most intersections. Urban LRT is designed to be a major catalyst for transit-oriented development. West Block Glenora, located right next to the Grosvenor 142nd Street stop, is an example of how connecting high-density development to transit helps to create sustainable spaces to live, work and play. As we continue west and cross the 149th Street intersection at street level, we reach the Stony Plain Road 149th Street stop, which serves the local business district and surrounding mature neighborhoods. As we look towards the future, over the next 15 to 20 years, LRT will help bring the vision of the Jasper Place Area Redevelopment Plan to life. Increased density along Stony Plain Road will transform the area into a vibrant Main Street commercial destination supported by pedestrian-oriented, mixed-use developments. As the LRT approaches 165th Street, it begins to climb an elevated structure. There are two elevated stations along the Valley Line West Corridor, located at the Misericordia Hospital and West Edmonton Mall. The Misericordia station provides the final connection that links all major hospitals into Edmonton's LRT network. The train continues along the LRT guideway to the West Edmonton Mall elevated station, providing riders with a direct connection to a major regional destination. The transit center, located directly below the new LRT station, provides a seamless transfer for transit users. The LRT leaves the station and continues west, above the 178th Street intersection, descending back to street level as it approaches the Aldergrove Bell Mead LRT stop.
The LRT continues along the south side of 87th Avenue and crosses Anthony Hende Drive before arriving at the Lewis Farms Transit Center and Park and Ride. The total travel time is roughly 35 minutes between Lewis Farms and downtown, about an hour for the entire 27-kilometer line. Trains will run every five minutes during peak hours. The Lewis Farms Park and Ride will feature approximately 900 parking stalls, a kiss and ride drop-off area, cyclist connections to nearby neighborhoods, and a brand new LRT vehicle storage and light maintenance facility. Thank you for riding with us today. For more information on Valley Line West, please visit our website.